Hello everyone, it's BitsBadipus here and welcome back for another uh, Simple Planes video and today's video I'm gonna show you this one of planes that I download from the uh, from the Simple, Simple Planes uh, creation creation page and as you can see here we have here the FA-37 from the movie Stealth and as you can see here that uh, it's kind of bit accurate from the movie uh, it does look stealth, stealthy enough just like in the movie, but uh, I like in the movie. This one looks kind of bit wide and kind of bit short, but uh, from from the shapes and from the from the details, it kind of get through. But it's still kind of a, a little bit wide. But uh, we will see this plane up how good it is. So let's play around with this plane. And as you can see here, the the FA-37 right here looks fly very sta stable, uh, it could reach very fast, roll, and it could even go much faster right here. Uh, we could reach like uh, five, yeah, 1,500 uh, miles per hour, and we could even still pitch much faster than that. So let's shoot down some ships right here. Right now we're locking on, launch that missile right here, there we go, and just skip right here and then see the carnage. There you go, very worthy for a, for a multi-role, I mean for an air superiority fire, fire plane and good for ground attacks. You could just keep launching missile right here, I don't know, it's, it's not as worthy, you cannot sink that thing by just launching missile like that. And it, we will be still living. There we go. And go for a normal speed and keep shooting with machine gun. I know that that will work. Oh, there we go. I never know this one has some explosive, explosive ammunition. So there we go. Uh, ship destroyed. So now let's load some enemy planes, shall we? Okay, right here. Here's our first target. Now we're gonna go Fox One. Fox one, there we go. Band it down. Let's find another one. Oh. Fox one. There we go. It's gone. Fox one. There we go. It's gone. Now let's load some giant giant planes here. Keep firing those machine gun. And do some explosive power right here. What was what the sink? I don't know why. Oh my god, what Oh, that's why. Oh no, 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 I didn't. Oh, it crashed. Okay, there you go. It's gone. So yeah, that's the. Oh, never mind. It it, it rose again from the from the sea. Uh, let's try to finish it off. And its misery. Okay, uh, for real, uh, we're just gonna finish finish uh, showcasing this plane and now wait, let's switch off to the another to another plane okay yeah, right here we have here the mid-31 firefox from the uh, 1982 movie firefox which is directed by Clint Eastwood and as you can see here uh, kind of bit accurate from the from the movie but it's kind of a little bit thick but still it still kind of looks cool so let's play around with this plane shall we Alright guys, uh, same thing from the uh, from the first plane I featured. Uh, this one is seems to be very very fast and also very agile. Seems to be agile too. And as you can see that it has some some good speed there. But it's kind of hard to con control. It's kind of hard to use this thing from dogfight stuff. So 
Let's bring some aircrafts, shall we? There you go, it's all, this one is, seems to be a little bit shorter. Aircraft damage. It's kind of losing control. There we go. Because we hit it. In fact, there is another one. But we need to be a little bit of a good, good angle to drag it down much more accurately. The guy slowed down a bit, so we could actually hit, hit this thing much more better. There we go! Okay, we're getting too fast. We're getting too fast. We're getting too fast. Oh! It just crashed off because it gets so scared. Uh, so that's that's all about it guys. Uh, it it is a a very worthy no no it's not that a very worthy uh fi fire plane but it, it's kind of looks cool uh, since this one is from a very old movie uh, which directed by Clint Eastwood and yeah it's a very awesome movie play. Okay, uh, okay guys, up uh, for fun. Uh, I load a. A duplicate plane just for fun because just like from the just like from the movie, uh, the this uh, Clint was like uh, st stealing a steal this plane from the from the Russians dur during the movie and oh no, right, that's it's kind of hard to fight this. Day. Maybe. I Maybe the uh, AI AI plane is like did is good while me I'm the guy okay, that is chasing him. Oh there we go, there he is. Go. Fox one There we go. And <laughs> uh, maybe I'll be Clint Eastwood though. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, uh, let's move to another one. And we have here the HH Mark Mark II from the Independence Day Resurgence movie, uh, which some people would say that uh, that movie was uh, a little bit was bad, and and the, the the first one is way better. And I understand, I understand that I, I know the the original one was way better, but. Uh, damn, this plane looks cool though. Uh, and it got some very badass cannon here and that. Um, very sci fi uh, thruster over here, and still had these things though. But anyway, uh, let's play around with this plane. And now, as you can see here, uh, we're only just going like 11% 11, 11 of speed. And you'll, you'll know why, because this thing is very fast like very insanely very fast like like you could reach some of the islands here in the game much faster so uh, for example I'm going to the other island so but uh, I, I want to destroy some of the no, 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 that won't gonna work so okay uh, let's try that so watch this you see how fast I'm going yeah I am fast <laughs> and I'm going like at 2000 miles per hour and <laughs> there you go we already see the island right here and let's go land with this thing I don't know if I can do that I, like I already landed I really land many planes here in this game many times so I guess that won't, that won't be a problem so uh, let's slow down a bit shall we There we go. Uh, extend that the landing gear right here, and uh, a little, just a little bit of approach. Yeah, uh, just a little bit of approach here. That would, that would be great. And then turn it off. Oh my god, that, that's a that's a fast. I think this one is much more easy to land because. This thing is just using some 
Gyroscope! Oh my god! No! That was too fast, you know. For just 20 per 22% of speed, it, it was insanely fast. I cannot land. Which is the the bad going up this? Okay, there you go. Never mind. We're almost there, and then we, we crash. Okay, so since how fast this plane could be, and uh, let's load some enemy planes, shall we? Right here, I load some normal planes right here, and we're just going like uh four percent of uh four percent of throttle because this thing is just very fast as hell. As you see, we just drop we just increasing this a little bit. It's it's getting really hard to control. There we go. We, we did some explosion with this thing. And it's basically the most OP fire plane I've ever, ever tried on. But. And that, that will be just the, the machine gun. So. There we go. We should done that enemy plane. Now let's go for another one. Now that plane is just stumbling around. Uh, he's basically dead now. Because this thing is just so OP. You could literally wipe out everything on it. So okay, now let's turn on from the from the small fleet right there. Come on, destroy that. There we go. Just be so fast. Like a meteor, there we go. Just like Valtrax from Monster Hunter. Come on, just hit this. There we go. We just We just obliterate that um destroyer right there. Now let's turn on with the aircraft carrier. We, it won't be a very challenging part for us. Okay, there we go. We're a little bit further away and keep blasting those blasters. There you go. Uh, a cool fire plane from the from a bad movie. So who cares about a bad movie when you have some badass plane right here? And it could go very fast, like uh, 2,000 miles per hour. So okay, uh, that's the HH Mark uh, Mark II from the Independence Day Resurgence. So let's go for another one. Okay, guys. So we have here some anime planes right here. So we have here the Yukikaze FFR uh, 41MR Mave from the uh, anime uh, Sento Yusei Yukikaze, which. Uh, yeah, some. It has some few. It has some a lot of awesome plane designs, which where I inspired the the pterosaur program. <laughs> As you can see right here, this this plane flies kind of a bit well. Uh, it could reach like uh, uh, 60 miles per hour uh, while going straight, and and also it's much more stable though. Take a look at that stable plane and it could roll a bit faster but once I I disable once I dispose the uh, external uh, fuel right there uh, we could now do machine gun fire with this thing I don't know if we could actually should done some ship with ship with this thing but let's try there we go Yes, indeed. We could. You could actually shoot down ships with this thing. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. That's very nice. Okay, uh, let's load some um, enemy planes around. Okay, right, right now we're locking on. And it, it, it's keep blasting a lot off. It, it, this one keep blasting a lot of flare, which that's the problem of this plane. 
That's why it's so hard to hard to fight these things. They, they keep blasting a lot of flares. There we go, we shoot them. Okay, for fun, and we're just gonna... Okay, there we go. Uh, did we shoot we're gonna shoot it down uh, we get shot down by the arsenal bird which it came from the first uh simple planes episode so there you go uh we shoot it down which is nice all right since this plane could actually um go faster but unfortunately if i do that uh, we could actually uh, drop all of this ordinance right here which is not nice and uh, we're just uh, trying these things to uh, to kill one of those planes right here. Oh, I just not. Anyway, we're not gonna use this thing anyway. There we go. We're getting fast. There we go. We okay. Let's go fast. I uh, know. Let's go with that destroy it right here there we go very nice and now let's start with the aircraft carrier right here because it's it's a one chunky target there we go yeah there we go easy very easy play to, to use and very fun to fly on, to, to fly around all right guys we have here some plane from the video game project wingman which is the uh, v vx23 which which is looks like the uh, J20, but it has some more uh, F22 look. And I'm having a little bit of fun flying with this plane, and it's quite good at dogfight. So uh, let's have fun with this plane, shall we? So here we go. Here's the the BX23 from the Project Wingman, and and now let's shoot down some. Uh, ship. I don't know if this one is. If this machine is powerful enough to destroy that, which is tiny right here. So there we go. Uh, keep firing. Do we do anything damage? No. It's just a typical machine gun. That's all of it. I should have done that plane right there. There we go. Fox one. Fox one. There we go. Very fun to play around with this plane. Fox one. Uh, that that other one just escaped. Okay, wait, let's shoot on this one. Fox one, there we go. Target hit. Okay, that one is so far away. We can't we can't shoot it down. This one too. Okay, we have to choose which one. Anyway, we cannot shoot them down. And I think that guy is uh, kind of close to us. Anyway, let's go with that guy. Fox one. And now I'll be happy a little bit. There we go. So yeah, that's the VX23 uh, from the video game. Uh, from the big, from the video game Project Wingman and. It's a very awesome game and I kind of want to play but I don't have a VR. I know that you could actually play with uh, Project Wingman without the VR but I don't have a money to buy the game. Now maybe someday I could I could buy it if I upgraded my PC. So right now, uh, just to end it a little bit, uh, we're, go we're gonna try to land this plane. Ah, 
That's very nice. Very good. Alright, that was a very fast break. Looks like uh, we break our back. So anyway, uh, that's the uh, the VX23, and for real, we're we're just gonna switch to another plane. Yo, buddy, is still alive, and uh, we have here the uh, ADFX2 Morgan from Ace Combat Zero, and as you can see, <laughs> uh, very accurate from the. Um, from the video game itself, it, it looks like that you actually steal the, the model and then put it here in the game, which is <laughs> kind of hilarious. And it even got this uh, giant bombs right here. Actually, this one is so powerful, like it could wipe out an entire fleet, which is nice. And some uh, sidewinders right here. And also, it won't be like a uh, uh, solo wing pixie meme without the. DLS right here, yeah. It even had this laser. <laughs> As you can see here, uh, unfortunately, uh, Cypher wasn't here just to enjoy our carnage. So anyway, uh, let's just gonna uh, terrorize every everyone with our great weapon. There we go, we're gonna use our DLS right here. Using it to the USS Tiny, which the uh, poor ship right here. Uh, we can uh, get some. There we go. That one got destroyed. First, we need to get all the clear from the smaller smaller ship because the, those are the guys are hard to, hard to mess. Okay, launch that giant giant missile right there and then do some uh, giant massive damage. There we go. Just a half of the... Did we? Did... No, 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 no. We, we haven't destroyed the entire fleet, but... Uh, we just... We just destroyed half of the... Half of the fleet. Okay, let's try again. Launch that missile. There we go. Just a half of the fleet though. There we go, just 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 the cruiser is left. Now we're just gonna shoot it down with the uh, TLS, which is nice. There we go, we just need to have a, a good maneuverability right here just to, to hit that one tiny ship. Actually it's a destroyer in real life. I don't know why it's called a cruiser. There we go. Very nice. Now let's load some enemy planes around. There we go. It's less lucky. So now we're just gonna load a got much more weaker targets. Uh it's just so very Hard to shoot down because this one is a little bit big. But we're very fast, so how about we're just gonna shoot it down with some hitter missile? I think that will not gonna work. Okay, uh, we're just gonna crash. There we go. Okay, goodbye, Pixie. So, okay, uh, let's go for the last plane, shall we? Alright, guys, uh, this is our last, uh, last creation that we're gonna feature. Here's the uh, PW Mark One from uh, Project Wingman, as you can see here. Uh, kind of accurate from the uh, Crimson One's plane. Uh, even got this very weird thruster right here. I don't, I don't know. It, but I'm gonna say this were like the Aero Spike, I guess. And it has a lot of missiles, and it has some very one-hit cannon right here, which is. Um, uh, really really fun so let's play around with this plane we're gonna bring orange the world because uh, because crimson one wants is orange he loves orange so much so uh, this the trail of gun he's gonna shoot is orange there we go 
just one hit. And it's very, very stiff. It's kind of really hard to control. You see here that we just did a one hit from that plane, and that's very nice. Okay, there we go. There we go, just one hit, then go faster again. There we go, we just did a one hit from the third. So okay, yeah, let's load some uh, enemy planes. Like I'm gonna spawn like a lot of planes. Like a lot. And you'll see why. Okay, right now I spawn a lot of planes around and it's even much more fun to play around because they there go It's very lucky, I don't know what to do. Like, I cannot even control it very, very well, and... You see right here, you know, we... We wipe them out very easily. Because that's what it is. Crimson Wand is, is Crimson Wand. King Crimson. Now this is I think this is a payback. <laughs> Unlike of how we we use uh, how we use the King Crimson many many times and, and we just <laughs> keep playing around. <laughs> oh right, there you go guys. Um I think this is not much better to to end this episode right now and thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe and turn that notification bell so you never miss a new video and as you can see here I guess it's a better much time to to end this episode since uh, just like from the video game um, the memes which is very spicy which I, I really enjoyed uh, they end up like with the orange but this time the orange just disappeared very very quick which is sad which is very sad for our fellow crimson one which yeah, it's that sad actually this one could actually go for ground for ground attacks which is very nice that's why I'm gonna call this one as the the most OP plane I ever played in this game and that's been and I enjoy playing around with this plane because it, it could literally um, conquer the entire battlefield. <laughs> so okay guys uh, for real. Um, that's it. Uh, see you in another video.